just like this custom design below me says hello and welcome to my new video if you're new here hi i'm lex and today we are going to be looking at some ideas for campsites in animal crossing that was the most highly requested this week from my members and so we're going to take a look this first one is if you are familiar with my channel you already know this but i love a good beach campsite and that is what this island is offering. I think they're so cute. They're always a vibe. I think the campsite itself just looks so good on the beach. Its colors are perfect for this area. So I think this is a great idea. You might be wondering, okay, but what is the theme here? This is a hyper kid core island. And the theme here is cardboard forts like we used to build as kids. I think that this is an adorable idea. As you can see, there is cardboard lining the whole beach here, and I think it's so cute. I love the addition of the little like cardboard boxes of model things slash, I guess it could be also board games. I think there is so much creativity here. I also love the food because no blanket or cardboard fort is complete without a snack. So I think this is a brilliant idea and so creative, such a creative way to use the campsite on your island. This next island really blew me away. Check this out. First of all, we've got Blathers Tent here. If you didn't already know, if you don't donate 15 critters to Blathers, your museum will never actually become a thing. It'll just stay this research tent. And this creator is using that to their advantage by making a check-in point for the campsite. As you can see, the campsite is visible from here. So you check in at Blathers Tent and then head over to the campsite, which is so beautifully done. This has like a desert aesthetic going on. I think it's so beautiful. I also love these random details thrown about the kettle, the futon, this camping bed. This could even be an outhouse rather than its actual status as a wooden storage shed. I just think this is so cool. And the decor is so awesome too. All the cacti, the other tents around, it's really well done. And like I said, I really like the idea of having a check-in as well. I mean, how cool is that? Y'all, this campsite had such an elaborate lead up. The pathing was so cool. I mean, look even at this like bridge here, this land bridge with the vines growing up the sides. How amazing. Anyway, this campsite is placed up at the very back of the island on a hill. I love me a good mountainous campsite. I thought this was gorgeously done and the terraforming is unparalleled. I mean, look at all this water terraforming that still looks very natural and flows around the campsite. And also we've got animals having a nice little picnic over here. This feels like a fairy tale. Here is one view of the campsite from below. I think it is just gorgeous. And I love this ladder setup kit that you use to get to it as opposed to an incline. It just feels very, I don't know, it feels fitting for this campsite to have this more rustic way of getting to the top. We are heading back into Kidcore Whimsy with this island. I think that this is amazing. Using these, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but the tree stands to make it feel more lush around the campsite is such a good idea. And we've got little mini campsites all around. It's like a tent city out here. I think the blankets are really cute. We've also got some more porta potties, except these are the actual bathroom item as opposed to using the more rustic version of the wooden storage shed look at all of these little campsites. There's even a resident representative tent here. I think that this is adorable. I mean, look at that little flower under the bear. Oh my gosh. All of the color and everything here is just overwhelmingly beautiful. I think this is such a cute way to design your campsite. If you're looking to bring in a lot more color, there's even a little eating area and a bonfire over here. You actually can't go wrong with this island. It is absolutely perfect. I mean, look how much it spreads out. This whole area is one big campsite. Incredible. This island provides a much more natural approach, I think, to the campsite. It's got very calming furniture here matching the time of day, very calming flowers and colors at play here. It's a very soothing campsite and it does extend onto the beach. You can come and camp on the beach and I think this is so adorable. Look at these little gyroids on their own special rugs. How precious is that? We've got so much to do at this campsite, little places to sit and rest, eat, read, whatever your fancy is at the moment. And there's even a place to hang up your laundry. I remember the days when doing laundry on the beach and Animal Crossing was like the main trend. Everyone had laundry on the beach and that was the whole vibe. So what a cool thing 
to see how nostalgic and just perfectly calming. This isn't the campsite, but this island has already blown me away. Look at these little, look at these little things. Oh my gosh, how precious. Anyway, we're going right here into the campsite, which borders the beach. I love a good beach campsite as we've already established several times before. Look at this. The pathing here is gorgeous. I think it's really nice that the colors in this custom path match the colors of the campsite, like banner, what is this called? garland. I think this is so precious. And I also love the little details where you can go fishing here. There's an outside kitchen. There's another mini campsite up here, a little tent for you to come and chill at. There's even a little switch. This island is giving me kid core as well. I'm not sure what the official theme for this island is, but I think all of the vibrant colors are so well done. I mean, look at this rock also full of little tents for camping. This island has a definite vibe and I love that this whole like corner beach is devoted to the art of camping. Whether you're going for a realistic to real life vibe or just going for a foresty island, I think that this campsite captures those aesthetics perfectly. I mean, I don't know how the creator managed to capture this level of rugged outdoorsy coziness in this campsite, but I mean, everything from the terraforming, which is impeccable, to all of the decor, which is so cute and so well-placed, I think. The arrangement of everything here is great. Again, so realistic. I love the fact that there's a trail up here. It's just a nice place to come and camp. It feels like exactly the type of place that you would find at a campsite in the real world. I'm obsessed with this one. This is an autumn island and look at this. We've got a little lake campsite. It's, well, I guess this is a river technically. It's kind of separated from the land here by this river, but you can get down to it and access the campsite itself. We'll go and check it out. How pretty is this design? I also love the centering of this campfire and the circle here. There's a little pathway from the campsite to the secret beach, which is super adorable. I just think this is a really nice autumn vibe to be honest look at this i think the tree colors definitely emphasize the campsite itself because it's so bright in autumn compared to everything around it as opposed to you know putting it on the beach it kind of matches the vibe i think this is a really nice one again the colors go together so well the red and yellow garland and the red lamp here on the campsite itself with all of the colors around it just perfectly arranged the next island has some definite fairy core, I think, vibes going on. This time of day is so beautiful. I love that this is like a cliffside camp. We've got a lot of water terraforming around it. These bamboo partitions behind it are such a good idea. And as you descend the incline here, there's actually a tiny, almost hidden pathway through these cliffs. So how cool is that? I love all of the custom designs in play here, the colors. It's just, it gives a very mysterious aesthetic and I think it comes across really well. I mean, imagine being able to camp in a place like this, a sort of fairy forest, it's beautiful. Okay, look at how cool this lead-in is. Okay, first of all, this area over here is a huge star-shaped orchard on the island. I encourage you to visit this dream address. And by the way, uh, dream addresses and creators are in the description. So if you would like to visit this island, it's called Dove Isle. And yeah, you should definitely go check it out. The map looks so cool. But anyway, this lead-in to the are you kidding look at these colors the fences we've got the actual campsite the building on the side here with yet another outhouse i love that this is a common theme that we're thinking of when we make our campsites there's also this little eating area over here and then it's like a campground because it's got all of these tiny campsites here i think these custom designs are so cool as well the like logs that are cut off I mean, this is amazing. The dropped items as well, the pine cones and maple leaves. This is yet another absolutely stunning island. I would have almost expected it to be in autumn. So it's refreshing to see a summer island with this like red theme going on. I just think this is so cool. Such a beautiful campsite design. There's even a crafting table here and look at that painting that someone's done. How amazing. We've even got a well over here and some clothing stuff. This is, oh, I love it. I love this campsite so much. 
I am taken aback by the theme on this island. How creative is it already? It's like a rural kind of village. This is the campsite here. Uh, I love that the campsite is actually up for the stream address. How beautiful. I love the futon up above as well. We've got like a layered campsite going on. A hose here. Some more camping over here. This just looks so cool. I think this is such a creative vibe, such a creative theme. And again, even look at down below at the waterfalls, you can see through the gates. That is incredible. What a good idea. I feel like this is just such a clever build. I couldn't not include it. I mean, there are so many items here that I don't think I've ever seen used on an island like this, like this iron slash steel frame or whatever, the scaffolding. This is amazing such a creative use for the campsite. Okay, so literally just walking to this campsite has me blown away. What is going on right here? This has to be the best decor for a beach rock I've ever seen. But anyway, let's get to the point. This is another campsite on the beach. I know, I know, but I think it's such a good place to put your campsite. I feel like this is just the objective best place to put the campsite. And that speaking as an Animal Crossing professional, of course. Um, and you're not allowed to disagree because my name is actually Lex Nintendo Play. So yeah, I bet you feel like clowns now. Anyway, I think this is gorgeous. Again, I love this autumn time. I love the custom design coats, the color of the grass, everything here. All of the little details just go together to create such a beautiful, stunning place. And again, the campsite is actually up, which is beautiful. I think this is so cool. And this is a fairly small beach to have fit the whole campsite onto. So kudos to the creator for genuinely impressing me right now. I am... I am impressed. This next island from the picture gave me some Zenia vibes because it's up on a mountain. So again, very nostalgic for me. I love how this creator approached the mountain vibe though. Look at this peninsula. First of all, this connected to the campsite. We've got many kids tents here. And then of course, at the very top, the campsite itself just beautiful. I also really appreciate that barrel with the wheat decoration and then the firewood here. I love this. It's near the back of the island so you can get some angles for the very beautiful ocean in the back. You've also got again an area over here for resting, relaxing, cooking, eating, laundry. I love how much detail went into this. The pathing once again is perfect. A very beautiful natural vibe for this island and I just think that this is so well designed. I mean look at that. How grand, how majestic. I love this campsite. We've got another super unique industrial theme going on here. And look at this campsite. It's very close again to Blathers' museum, creating a sort of mini tent city here as well. I think this is so cool. First of all, the use of Blathers' tent in the campsite is new to me. I have just seen these ideas today and it's cool that it was from two different creators, but it's just really cool to me to see this level of innovation. Also, it's so nice to see more ladder setup kits. They're so rustic, but somehow fit in perfectly to this industrial vibe. It's giving, it's giving the apocalypse. That's what I'm getting from this island so far. It is truly giving dystopian industrialism. I'm talking like Ready Player One, but an abandoned city. You know what I mean? This is phenomenal to me. All the details again are so good and I just love to see all of this more urban furniture in use since I myself typically lean into a more natural vibe. So this is truly just jaw dropping to me. Just beautiful. It just so happens that the next island I decided to visit also has an industrial like like a like a rural industrial vibe, you know what I mean? This is like a village aesthetic. There there's a lot of mixed uh roadways, this like broken brick on the beach in front of the campsite, which I think is super cool by the way. It's like a fish market down here and the campsite might be at the base of operations for everything or at least a little loading dock. I think that's such a good idea and I love this um you know how I feel about the ladder setup kid I don't have to mention it every time but look at this there's a telescope up here you can just observe the sky the night sky preferably but this is so cool and I love the idea of putting the lighthouse behind the campsite to kind of give it a little top look at that what a cool new building idea 
I think this was so cool. I did want to say thank you so much to all of my channel members. I have renamed the membership tiers to players one through four since I do call my viewers Lex players just to keep it consistent. So I hope you all vibe with that. If you'd like to join and you're not already a member, the link is in the description of the video. Thank you all so much for watching today. Like I said, if you want to visit any of these islands for yourself, those creators who are open to sharing their dream addresses at this time will have their dreams in the description as well. So go and check that out if you want to visit any of them from today. I highly recommend every single island with an available dream address. All of these islands have been splendiferous. Like that's the only word that truly encapsulates how I feel. Splendid, incredible, beautiful, stunning, perfect. I'll see you all in the next video, but for now, bye.